In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to navigate to Google Docs, create a basic chart, and present data effectively. Let's get started by finding our way to Google Docs. You can do this by simply typing docsgoogle.com into your browser's address bar, or alternatively, visit the Google homepage and look for the Documents option within the menu. In some instances, this might redirect you to Google Drive, but rest assured, Google Drive retains all the functionality you'll need from Google Docs for today's task. Now that we've accessed our document space, it's time to create a new document. Look for the Create button and click on it. Then choose Spreadsheet from the options presented. For this exercise, we're going to name our document something simple like My First Paragraph. This sets the stage for entering our data. Today, we're using an example that involves comparing the average scores of runners who wore different brands of shoes. Our example brands are Reebok, Adidas, Nike, and a generic brand. So, let's input this data into our spreadsheet. Type Reebok, and beside it, enter 24 minutes. Next, Adidas with 26 minutes, followed by Nike at 22 minutes, and finally, generic at 25 minutes. With your data in place, it's time to create a visual representation by crafting a chart. Start by clicking and dragging to select all your data. With it highlighted, find the Insert menu at the top of the page, and then select Chart. You'll be given the option between different chart types, and for today's example, We'll focus on a bar graph. Decide whether you prefer horizontal or vertical bars based on your presentation needs and go ahead with your choice. Customization is key to clarity, so let's enhance our graph with some specific tweaks. Add a clear and descriptive title to give context, something like runner's times with different shoes. For clarity in your axis labels, the horizontal axis should read type of shoes, while the vertical should clearly denote minutes to complete race. We all know a consistent scale is crucial, so let's set our vertical axis range to start from zero and extend to 50 to encompass the range of times noted. Moreover, if you're keen to add a pop of color, you can personalize the bar colors, changing, for instance, Reebok to a light green or Adidas to a bright blue. Satisfied with your personalized chart layout and design, the final step is to incorporate it into your document. Click on Insert, which will embed your bar graph neatly into place. If you wish to export it, you have the option to copy it to the web clipboard. For situations where a static image suffices, you may download the chart as an image. However, note that this will lose the interactive elements such as mousing over the bars for more detailed data. And there you have it, a simple yet comprehensive walkthrough for navigating Google Docs, creating and customizing a chart from your data. Whether you're analyzing runner times or other data sets, these steps will help you present information in an engaging and insightful manner.